Hello everyone and welcome to our new show, The Three Whisketeers. I'm Jamie, your host. This is Kurt, angel-haired hipster Curtis and our happy hunter and Eddie. Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> on this show we like to drink our whiskey and have a lot of fun. And we don't have anything on here to drink, so That's right. I guess we're not having any fun. <laughs> no, we're going to have fun. We're going to have an extraordinary <laughs> amount of fun. <laughs> oh, Did Christmas come early for us? Christmas came early. <laughs> uh oh uh oh In a very, very, very <laughs> unbelievable special way. It's lit. It's beyond lit. <laughs> Did you ever think you'd hear that? <laughs> Santa came awesome. in and put in my stocking. Holy shit, it's not a oh. Are Thank we God. ready? Whew. You had me scared there for a second. Take a look at that. Let's take a look at this, ladies and gentlemen. It is William LaRue Wella. Other way around. That's great. There. What does that mean to us? Yeah, what does that mean? That is the antique collection. Oh. Kentucky straight bourbon, uncut, unfiltered, 62.85%, 125.7 proof, barrel proof. This is the antique collection. I think I have a bunch of those at home. <laughs> well, I have a couple, oh but I don't have this one. I have this several. has been my holy grail for a very long period of time. Oh my god. Oh, so I probably don't have that bottle. Oh, of you definitely do not. <laughs> so, so how, did you, how, how, did you, okay. how did you acquire it? Well, I didn't acquire it. Okay. Our wonderful, incredible, generous friends at Ben's go down to Ben's and buy lots of whiskey yep. and anything else they have, wine, gin, all sorts of stuff. Craft because beers. Craft beers. Wine, they have a gin, lot of craft right. beers. So go and down they have there. good chocolates too. Yeah. So go down there and buy because they lent us this bottle. Wow. And we not only lent it, they said that we could each have a sample from it. A sample. Yeah, friend of the show. A very all a really good friend of the show. Yeah. So this is a very, very, very important bourbon. It is um, uh, Jim Murray, who writes the, the uh, Whiskey Bible every year, mm. says that this bottle right here is the bourbon of the year for 2019. Really? This is the best bourbon, in his opinion, in the world for 2019. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't know if I'm prepared enough for this. Yeah, I don't think you deserve it, but you know, you're here. <laughs> and I'm said we all get one, so that means you. Gosh. So, um, I'm going to be very stingy with this because it doesn't belong to me. Right. <laughs> but we're going to each Watch out. Let's get about that's, that's a half yeah. shot. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine with me. And yes. don't guzzle this or you'll die. I Because I will kill you. Physically. <laughs> there will be death. I think I found You want to make this last. I think I found my new bartender for a bar that I'm going to open. His name is Curtis. Because our drinks are going to be stingy. Well, if this was my bottle, I'd be more generous. But it's not my bottle. Dude, I'm joking. That's the. This, is, this, is, this is what we should it's take something. in. Yeah. I wouldn't, we never really have more than this. This is actually a generous amount. Now put that over so everyone can see oh, very, very slowly, gentlemen. Very slowly. To the last it, drop. Enjoy this. Okay, let's go. I like the smell. We will probably never, I, I doubt that I will ever get another opportunity. I have been trying to get a bottle of this for years. Does it say anything about tasting notes or to the nose? Its flavor yeah. has been described as full, evolving. Sophisticated with notes of vanilla, pea berry, and cinnamon. It's lit! It's lit. <laughs> now, we're all Weller fans. Yes. Yeah. This is it Weller like on steroids. This is Weller above and beyond. Uh oh. We're going to have a hearing. Yep. Let's it not say the word. It smells like burning. <laughs> it smells like heaven. Yeah, it does smell really nice. This actually. is a different smell that I've never really had before. Yeah. It's like 62% from yeah. what I'm seeing over here, so it's really hot. Yeah, it's, see, yeah this is this is barrel strength. I mean, they didn't mess around, dude. Uncut, unfiltered. So that means you're going to taste some wood. Let me taste it. My, well, my pinky is up. <laughs> Well, Christmas definitely came early for the Three Whisketeers, that's for sure. For as high of alcohol content, it is definitely elegant, smooth. Oh my gosh. This hits all the notes. It's complete from beginning to end. It hits you, and it's smooth all the way to the end, but it has just a power in there. And it's so smooth. It's like, 
you can you can you can tell that it's a stronger alcohol for sure. It's not a rye. It's not a rye. Definitely not a rye. Definitely not a rye. Definitely not a rye. <clears throat> but it has a very nice color. It is a weeded bourbon. And I like that nice dark color. Yeah. I think we won't do any more shows. We've hit it. <laughs> yeah, I, I think after this, the there's pinnacle. no there's no need to even drink any more whiskey. <laughs> That's it. I think I think this is it. I think I'm done. I really don't know how to describe it, but the difference between this and other stuff, like stuff that's like really high, like what we consider like really good, there is a flavor in there when you hit it and it disperses in your tongue. And it's, it's not like a rye type thing, but it's like it explodes. And when it explodes, it's, it, it's, it's smooth. Where there are other stuff that's cheaper or not as good made is just fresh it has the little fresh at the end this is smooth it opens up and then it's just like you know what i mean for the strong burn that there is yeah. it's really covered up and in, in, in the flavor you forget about the burn yeah from the al high alcohol yeah you forget about that with just the yeah and you know what i think and i think because and smoothness yeah and i think it's because it's the barrel strength maybe i'm wrong but you can really taste the notes, the vanilla, the tea berry, and the cinnamon. It's like they're very distinct, I feel, because it's not diluted. Your thoughts? It's one of the best bourbons I've ever had in my yeah, life. Yeah, not much more to add than that. I huh? mean, it really is. I, you know. I love I've, it. I've heard the hype for years. I've been wanting to get, I mean, last year's uh, 2018 and 2017 before, people were just raving about it. Uh, I just cannot believe how yeah. wonderful it really is. And I, I don't, you know, I don't want to speak out of like, okay, somebody told me this is good. I, I really try to stay objective because I've had some stuff that's supposedly supposed to be really good that I did not like it. But maybe it's because my palate is not sophisticated enough. But this, somebody said it's good, and I think it's better than good. I think this is one of the best ones I've ever had, and I agree with uh, Curtis. Yep. Yeah. I. I uh... I'm so glad that we we waited to have this. Yes. That if it would have been week one, oh, we, it would have been. Mm, I, I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. You know. Yeah. It would, would be, now well, that yeah, we're, now that this is the last episode. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I after know. all the profiles we have tasted and 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 and, and, and sampled, we know what we, we, we know what good is to appreciate. Yeah. We, yeah. Out. We know what good is to a point, and this to a point. Right. It's like. Wow. Okay, let me put it this. I way. don't know how they can get better than this, but I might. It might be able to. I would be willing, if I had the money, to spend fifteen or eighteen hundred dollars for that bottle on the secondary market, and I have secondary never market. ever bought anything on the secondary market. I don't know if it's worth that it much. It is that. Oh, it is worth that much. Yeah, it is worth that much. Um, I won't. Yeah. You know, but uh, burn. Mm -hmm. Your opinion? Uh, it's incredibly hot. But it's yeah. incredibly good. Yes, it's, it's hot. Yeah, it is. Hot. I think that's kind of covered up. In, it's secondary. It yeah. is hot. I'll give you that. Yeah, but it seems to be masked by just all the flavors, flavors, and the notes. And that tea berry is incredible. I mean, like that's something very new. Like I wish other people would do that. Oh. You know, Matt at Ben's has been good to us. We love them. We really want you to support them. To go out there and buy buy from them. Mm -hmm. um, they just they treat us very well, and if yeah. you like us, I hope to, that you like them. And on that note, Vern, all for one, one, one for, for all. all.